Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Threes, really cool that I'm getting a ship down here. Um, I just got this one in, and this is canned. Ah, I can't read it. I don't know. They literally just shipped this. I think they just arrived last week, so I assume this is a couple weeks fresh. Um, this is Unreliable Narrator. I actually reviewed this about six years ago on YouTube, and um, I was actually at Threes, uh, at the pre release, like, you know, doing a like, kind of a kind of like insiders, kind of like. Uh, Hey, check out this brewery before they open. And um, yeah, I mean, they've been open out for, geez. When they open, like right around when I got in the industry, like right before I got in the industry, I want to say. Somewhere around there. Yeah. So they've been around, for, they've been going on for like six, seven, eight years now. Yeah. So something like that. Uh, anyway, this is Unreliable Narrator. This is 10.5% IPA. Um, sort of uh, old school, what's cool. Uh, sorry, uh, juicy slash pine kind of thing is what they're going for. I think it's uh, Centennial and Amarillo. Um, Chinook. And I believe Citra is in there. Anyway, it's on the website. So it's not hazy. It's a clear beer, right? I have really nice clarity to that. But I feel I felt I felt that I had this beer a little hazier when I reviewed it. Um, uh, their beers, from what I noticed, at least early on when I had them, they had a little bit of a haze. This one doesn't really have much of a haze. A little bit of a chill haze. Uh, but it comes with a really nice kind of like a medium to light gold color. Um, wonderful white head on that. And using IPA glass. I got the glass set. Why not? This is for IPAs, right? It smells really nice. Um, flips me back to just like classic threes kind of thing. There's a little bit of this kind of um, soily Pacific Northwest piney earthy thing going on. A little bit of fruitiness in there as well. There's a little bit of lychee, um, this light kind of green mango note, uh, green papaya. A little bit of just like um, light candied sweetness, a little bit of orange marmalade, um, a little bit of like. Uh, the, the, yeah, lychee and like. Like candied fruit, it's like star fruit, star fruit, yeah. It's a nice fun nose. You know, you, you don't get over saturation of the big ripe, um, kind of like modern hop flavors, right? Like juicy, wet, dripping, um, ripe. It's got like really nice kind of pretty fruitiness and a little bit of like dustiness and a little bit, yeah, dusty, soily kind of thing. A nice combination. It really has this kind of like new age kind of fruity aroma, but also the classic kind of like dank kind of thing going on. Cheers. Mm, wow. Um, this beer is definitely mostly drier than I remember. And, um, but yeah, playing with that kind of like, um, hmm, yeah, I remember this beer just being a little bit softer. Um, what is that? Sorry, it's my fridge. Okay. Uh, then I need to move a little bit. I'm gonna move that a little bit. All right. Let's that's not good. <laughs> All right, let's let's do the real and I'll fix my fridge. Um, so the the beer um, follows a little bit uh, Pacific Northwest. It has this just soily, dank, piney, a little bit marijuana kind of red that sort of hits right. Um, that's the thing I noticed with like like I mean, Katie got me like a dozen or a couple dozen or so like uh, beers. A bunch of those were IPAs. There's just a thread of just like pine, soil, dank. Um, It honestly tastes a little bit like that. Um, full wine, I would have guessed that this beer was from that range, though, uh, from that uh, place in the country. Um, though this beer is definitely uh, noticeably less bitter. Uh, the bitterness here is a solid medium bitterness, medium minus bitterness, which is not very bitter for an IPA, right? Like, if you're thinking about more classic kind of um, non hazy IPA, you're thinking medium plus full bitterness, right? Uh, this is medium to medium minus, but really dry, like those beers. Um, the fruitiness plays a little bit like the nose with this kind of just like. Light candied fruitiness, again, continuing with a little bit of star fruit, a little bit of um, lychee, a little bit of this kind of like um, um, like like less ripe fruit. So we're talking like green uh, green strawberries, green papaya, um, um, underripe mango, you know, like these kind of like um, things where they, like you get, because it's a combination of fruitiness plus the green, which is the pine. So it's like, it, it sort of like influences what flavors of fruit you get because of the pininess that's going on here. So this one. Really nice crusher. Um, doesn't immediately like teleport me like straight back to the memories of uh, threes, but the, the beer in the glass is very good. So, um, solid. This is a solid, just good solid drinking beer. This is a great solid IPA. Um, it plays a really beautiful role in that it's not that bitter, uh, not crystal malt driven, um, not dominated by like. Um, 
pine needles and you know like it, it just plays a little bit it, it, it dials just a little bit of fruit onto some of those classic uh west coast flavors but also with the really nice lean body so we're ta- now we're talking about the lean body like a you know true kind of like a, a california kind of ipa right actually the pacific northwest beers are pretty lean as well right but they pulled back the bitterness a bit this is this is this is really drinkable yeah this is really tasty this is just like everyday kind of ipa that just like um will get you there I mean, for me, I, I, I wish it was a little bit more saturated, right? A little bit more, like, if you're going full strength 7.5 7, uh, on me, like, I want a little bit more complexity, I want a little bit more oomph, right? This this drinks for me around, like, um, 6.5, 6, right? We're really just, like, relaxing kind of vibe. You know, instead of getting a full strength, give me the full strength, you want the big punch with it, right? So um, it, it has a little less pullback on that, like, hop complexity that I really would push into world class, but it's very, very good beer. Um, very tasty. Um, this beer gets a solid 94, unreliable narrator from threes. Great stuff. I'm really excited to have this brewery. Well, it's not bad. It's still around, but really cool to have it in Florida. Really cool to send it out. 94.